As part of their campaign to expose torture in Syrian detention centres, Amnesty International collaborated with Forensic Architecture to digitally reconstruct the spatial and acoustic environments of Saidnaya military prison. Guided by survivors' testimonies, Forensic Architecture's technologists used echo profiling and 3D modelling techniques to build virtual cells and corridors that attested to their memories. These interactive digital models were published on a website which I was commissioned to archive earlier this year. The website combines explorable 3D modelled architectural spaces and ambient audio with footage of the research and interview process. Using Web Recorder, a high fidelity web archiving tool, I was able to capture this important work for long term preservation and access, including all its interactive and dynamic facets. Conversations with archivists at Amnesty International made clear that other options for preserving this website would be inadequate. A series of screenshots couldn't express its interactivity, while a screen recorded click through could only document one user's path pathway through the virtual spaces. Capture in Web Recorder involves performing the interactions which bring the web to life clicking, scrolling, pressing play to watch or listen. Any functionality which a curator activates and any content she explores during capture will be functional and explorable in browse mode. Here, the click and drag gestures which allow a user to pan around the spaces and adjust the angle of their glance become re-performable by researchers browsing the archive. The snippets and screenshots shared on these slides show the archive as it is viewed via replayweb.page, a desktop app which allows WARC files to be loaded from your local disk and accessed offline. I often speak about how important it is for us as curators to remain conscious of our subjectivity when collecting with Web Recorder. What we collect reflects our vantage point, while our actions during capture define the spatial extent and the interactive limits of the archive. But in the process of documenting this interactive work, I have become newly aware of how Web Recorder also provides a way for researchers to experience archived websites spatially and perceptively from their own point of view. Via this archive, researchers encounter each 3D modelled space directly. From an initial given position, they have the freedom to shift their perspective. They learn the virtual confines of each cell and experience its darkness firsthand. They can decide where to dwell and listen, then choose their own pathway onwards through the building. So the powerful immersive experience offered by the live site persists in the archive. Brilliant. Thank you, Anissa. I've seen there's been quite a few questions in the in the chat already. I don't yeah, know if sure. there's any of those you want to address. Oh, let me live, see. I've seen, but... um, yeah, seen, um, seen one. Somebody was asking me about quality assurance and I just wanted to express that, um, yeah, for me at the level of detail I aim for and at the scale I work, it's, it's feasible for me to carry out really um, item level quality assurance. Um, and then somebody's asking me about um, the option of server-side archiving and I've just sent a really quick reply just saying I've always focused on the browser side so um, thinking about how a researcher actually encounters it on the live web 
so collecting that kind of html um experience as as we as we recognize it in the browser okay. are there some other questions so how long did it take um in fact um <laughs> in this case it was it wasn't as um expansive as some other sites that have archived perhaps what takes as much time or more time is planning sort of mapping and planning the site um, so that you can you know you really really understand its structure and you know um yeah what's required and what your pathway will be so i think that's a um, level of time and then equally i guess um um, allocating a substantial period of time to doing that manual quality assurance afterwards. Yeah. And would this approach work well for other similar kinds of interactive 360 video experiences and um, other 3D? I, I believe so. I'm quite interested to maybe even contact Forensic Architecture and see if they'd like somebody to archive some of their other works because I think um, more and more like uh, it's very likely that um, organisations and researchers like forensic architecture sort of working at a small scale. They're very often working on these proprietary software um, environments, which won't necessarily be supported in the long term. So I would say that archiving them in the present tense is, um, is quite, you know, there's an urgency, I would say. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you very much, Anissa. No problem. And it's, Happy it's, amazing, it's amazing to see a working solution for capturing 360 video stuff in the browser. That's so cool.